Okay, for example eight, we have the breakdown of percentages of men and women in the armed services in the year 2000 is given by the following segmented bar graph. Which of the following can be stated from an observation of the chart? So this will be your first multiple choice question. And on every midterm, we'll have free response and multiple choice. So we want to practice those while we're in class together. But before we get going on the potential answers here, let's look at this segmented bar chart. And let's just start with what is the variable in this problem? And if we look at the x-axis here, we can see that armed services, and really the branches of the armed services, is the variable in this problem. So let me just take a moment and write that down. Because again, we want to get in the habit, every problem I give you, you want to see if you can determine what the variable is. So branch, or branches of the armed services. Okay, so we got that. Now with that, if we look at any one of these, these bars, they are broken up. You see the darker color here and the lighter color here. And we see this key over here saying men and women. And on the y-axis, I want us to take note that these are percentages. So just, just take note, this is a relative frequency on the y-axis. Anytime you see a percentage, that's a relative frequency. And when you're making bar charts, or histograms, frequency and relative frequency, those are your two options for the y-axis, and your variable will always go along the x-axis. And since our variable happens to be categorical here, we're gonna call this a bar chart, or in this case a bar graph, rather than a histogram. So again, bar charts and histograms look extremely similar. They both have rectangles over them. It's just we, we use the vocab term bar chart when our x-axis has a categorical variable, and we use the term histogram when our x-axis has a numerical variable. So that's the only difference there. All right, so let's take a look at the army, just so we can take a look at its bar and kind of break down what it means. So if I look at this army bar, it looks like this percentage here, and I'm gonna go ahead and say that's about 15%. So it looks like about 15% of the men and women in the armed services are actually women. So of the, the folks in the, uh, in the army, about 15% are women. And then by that rationale, about 85% would be men because it needs to total out to 100%. So I'm just gonna put a little note here, 15% women. And then that means 85% men. And these are just guesses. I mean, it, it, it's pretty close. It's about three fourths of the way up to 20. So 15 seems reasonable. If I look at the bar for Navy, we're looking at, I don't know, maybe 7% women. And if it was 7% women, again, 7, 8, you could even say 10 if we're just estimating. Then if we're going with 7%, though, then about 93% would be men. So you can just start to see what these different bars are representing in this graph, okay? So let's look at our first uh, multiple choice question. So again, which of the following can be stated from an observation of the chart? So let me scooch this up and let's take a look at our options, okay? So we've got A through E hanging out there. The first one says the number of women in the Marines is less than the number of women in any of the other armed services. Okay, the number of men in the Air Force is less than the number of men in any other armed service. The percentage of women in the Marines is less than the percentage of women in any other armed service. The proportion of men in each of the services is the same. The percentage of women in the armed services is changing over time. So as we start to take a look at these options here, I wanna, I wanna point out some vocab. To compare and contrast the answers in A and B with C through E, I want you to see here that this talks about number of, number of, number of women, number of men. And over on C, you see the word percentage. Here you see proportion and you see percentage. So we've got two potential answers talking about numbers of, and we've got three potential answers talking about percentages of. So right out the gate, we can rule out A and B. 
And the reason we can rule out A and B is because these are talking about frequencies and we have no information on that. If we go back to our, our graph, we only have information on relative frequencies, on percentages. So I don't know anything about the number of women in the Marines or the number of men in the Air Force. This is out, okay? And when I used to give this on a quiz, I would get A is the most commonly guessed wrong answer because you see here that the, the women in the Marines has got the smallest bar or a segment of a bar overall. So you're like, oh, okay, A is the answer. But you gotta be really careful. Look at that vocab term. Again, these are talking about frequencies. These three are relative frequencies. And since our y-axis had relative frequencies, oops, let me scooch that over, you can't quite see that. Since our y-axis had relative frequencies, we wanna talk about relative frequencies. All right, so here we go. The percentage of women in the Marines is less than the percentage of women in any other armed service. That is the correct sentence. All right, it does have the smallest bar, so that's, that's the one we're going with. The proportion of men in each of the services is the same. That's not true because these bars change in terms of their length. I don't even know what this is talking about. There is no time element in here. So that's what we got for that problem. So just be on the lookout and be careful with these vocab terms.